Hi everyone, I'm Rinzi and this is Rinzi Reads. So today I'm going to be doing a really quick bookshelf tour. My bookshelves haven't changed super drastically since the bookshelf tour I did last year, but as some of you guys may be aware, I did construction, or I didn't do construction, we had construction done in our house, and I had to remove all my books and then put them back on. And so during that time, I purged as well as sort of like tweaked my organizational system a little bit and also incorporated my new books into my old system, things like that. Um, so I'm going to go through this relatively quickly. Just a quick note, the way I do bookshelf tours, I don't go through every single book that I have on my shelf and talk about them because personally I don't really like that. So I'm just going to do a sort of like a quick overview of all of the books and if you have any questions about any of them specifically, definitely leave a comment down below and I will happily talk to you about them. So yeah, let's get started. So just to start, I have two shelves here. On the left I have nonfiction and then graphic novels and then on the right I have fiction and then I have this dresser over here where two of the drawers are filled with books. Uh, both of them are fiction books. It's like the latter half of the alphabet and then on top I keep my to be read books. So I have my books broken up into those three categories and then I do it alphabetical order-ish by the author's last name of each book. Um, I say ish because you will quickly see that I don't have them in exact al alphabetical order. I also like my books to be visually appealing so I will mess with the order to make it just work for my own brain visually and also I try to keep like series together. Um, I put books of the same size next to each other because personally I think that looks better on a shelf. So yeah, I will get started with the shelf by shelf tour. So here we have the first nonfiction shelf and this is like the first like, you know, five to seven letters of the alphabet. Um, I have some John Burnt who uh, is probably best known for doing Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil which was made into a movie with John Cusack. Some Bill Carter books who is a fantastic television writer. If you are someone who likes um, TV writing at all, highly, highly recommend his books. I have some Christian books mixed in here as well. Um, on Immunity, Being Mortal, Smoke Gets in Your Eyes, all books that I highly recommend and I believe I've done reviews on all of these. I know for sure I've done it at least on these two. Eleanor Roosevelt Biography, Volume 3. Oh, this is in the wrong order. That's gonna bother me. Let's just fix that while we're recording because this is just how I roll. Uh, volume 3 is out now and I'm very excited to pick that up but it's only out in hardcover right now so I have to wait till the paperback comes out. Yeah, some Mark Forsyth books which were sent to me by the publisher with that I really enjoyed. Yeah, that's, you know, my Angelou the Uge. And then down here, more nonfiction. A lot of this is U.S. history books. Emperor of All Maladies, which you've probably heard me talk about a bunch of times on here. Highly recommend. I really like books on U.S. history, so obviously I've got lots of that here. Chuck Klosterman. These, some of, I think these two are actually fiction books, but I like how these all look together. So I just keep it in the nonfiction section. Like I said, this is all ish organized. Nothing is super um, set in stone. As long as I know where they are, I'm happy. Um, Nick Cornby's, I have a couple of his essay collections, which I really enjoy. My third shelf of nonfiction, these are the Ms. Marvel graphic novels, which I was currently reading and I just stuck on the shelf here because, you know, laziness. I got my Sarah Vowels. Um, I have a couple, or one, that is out with a friend who is currently reading it. Yeah, Malcolm Gladwell, which I've read before, Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks, which is one of my all-time favorites, Just Mercy, which I've reviewed. Um, I've and then I stuck all of my little tiny books up here. Um, so these are neat nonfiction, but you know, they fit here well. I was going to put them on my bottom shelf, which you will see in a second, but I think I kind of like how they look here. But yeah, these are all sort of like the tiny essay collection, speeches, artistic-y type books. And then here is my comics and graphic novels shelf. I have all my single issues sitting here and these are like magazine racks that I got from Target. So I highly recommend these if you need a way to store your magazines that aren't like long boxes. And then we have all of my Marvel comics, Runaways, Hawkeye, Ms. Marvel, my sagas, Batman, March, Volumes 1, 2, and 3, Nimona, Persepolis, Boxers and Saints, Relish, Aya. I really need to get the next volume of Aya. Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley and American Born Chinese. And then down here is sort of like my miscellaneous shelf. Um, this is filled with magazines and newspapers that I have clips in. I interned at a couple of these magazines and such, so I just sort of keep that there. This is the complete works of Shakespeare because I took a Shakespeare class in college and this book is extremely heavy, so I put it on the bottom shelf because if I put it on any other shelf, it would bend my shelf. <laughs> these are my kids' books. I wasn't allowed to have a lot of books as a kid. Um, we were mainly a library family, so I've kept the books that 
I was able to own for whatever reason. And then these are all of my mass market paperback books, just like how all of my mass market pa paperbacks fit so nicely on top of each other like that. So I decided to just keep them there instead of organizing them into the rest of my shelves. Okay, so this is the first fiction shelf. There is a gap here because I have a collection of the Jane Austen cloth bound penguin editions. If you watch my bookshelf tour from last year, you will have seen them, but I gave them to my sister so she could use them in a photo shoot thing that she was doing. So I have left blank space for those to be stacked here. But yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Most of these books you'll probably recognize because these are all actually relatively recently read books, which I didn't do on purpose, <laughs> but just worked out that way. And then down here, this just happens to be a lot of series. The High Society series by Ali Carter, which I love. Um, Enchanted by Renee Dunfeld, which is one of my all-time favorite books. Hunger Games series, my Agatha Christie's that I really, really enjoy. I love these editions of the books, especially how they look next to each other on the shelf. Just makes me really happy. Um, Anna Dressed in Blood series, Purple Hibiscus, Petra Manda Negozi Adichie, and then the other Half of Yellow Sun is here. Um, Americana is sitting on my desk since I just read it. Here's the first book in the High Society series because I didn't this I had in paperback like I just I hate when that happens but oh well. And then here is the first shelf where everything is like real not organized. I mean in the sense of like this is clearly not in alphabetical order. I like to have my Harry Potters on this shelf because I made it a little bit taller so they can all fit. Um, so yeah, I have my Harry Potters here. This one is out with my nephew. And then I put the Robert Galbraiths and obviously J.K. Rowling's other book here. And then I had space, so I decided to put a couple of other hardcovers that just happened to fit here, as well as my To Kill a Mockingbird sort of collection. I got one more To Kill a Mockingbird recently, so I'm gonna need to fit that in here. Um, and then I put my Nick Hornby books up here because I found all of these after I had organized my shelves and I realized that they didn't fit anywhere. And I was like, yeah, this is close enough to like middle of the alphabet. I'll just put them on top of these. And this is the next shelf. So the Town of French is sitting here because I had just recorded that review and so I just stuck it here because this is where all of my ton of Frenches go and there's a very good chance I'm going to buy the Trespasser in paperback just so I have the paperback to go with all the other paperbacks. But yeah, these are all of my paperbacks that I have stacked here. Like I said, I really like organizing by size because it just looks so nice when you're looking at the shelves. And then the bottom shelf, um, I have my Crazy Rich Asians, China Rich Girlfriend, Kevin Kwan books it's over there in the corner. Burn Be Burn by Meg Medina is up on top of them. Burial Rights by Hannah Kent, which everyone loves. I have my Jumpa Lahiri sitting down here. The hardcovers that I have are right here, and then the paperbacks are over here. Signal to Noise by Silvia Marino Garcia, as well as her other bo newest book, Certain Dark Things, sitting close to each other. Um, and then, you know, the Steve Larson books are there. McCormick McCarthy, my John Green books are all there. Okay, so here is a overview of the first drawer. This is sort of like N through R, S, ish in the alphabet of last names. So over here I have my Percy Jackson's, my nephew has the first one of these, Celeste Ng, Ruth Ozeki, The Sympathizer, Girl at War, Yo Nespo, The Well in the Mind, the book that I still haven't reread yet, but there's still time this year. Um, the Secret Society Girls series, which I really, really enjoy. Um, my Donald Ray Pollock, which I just absolutely love how messed up that is. Then over here is a lot more series. I have my Cinder series books, Marissa Meyer books. I have my Patrick Rothfuss books back here, Divergent books back here, my Rainbow Rowell books, my Stephanie Perkins books. The Donald Ray Pollock fit very nicely over here because this one is in hardcover so I stuck that here. But yeah, my Richard Russo books. Attachments is over here because it's in paperback. And then here is drawer number two. This is basically the last half of the alphabet, or the last half, like S through T and or S through Z in the alphabet, as well as a couple of others. Like I have Neil Gaiman's Fortunately the Milk down here, mostly because it fit and I forgot to put it anywhere else. Um, I should probably put that in the miscellaneous shelf now that I think about it. But anyways, um, I have some Wode Houses back here. Sadie Smith, The Martian, The Book Thief, Brooklyn. Tree grows in Brooklyn. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Um, <laughs> I captured the catch as well. Steinbeck, my War and Peace. Over here I have Alif Shafak, Shadow of the Wind, written in the stars. Um, Brown Girl Dreaming, 
where the sidewalk ends. This is actually another one that's from my childhood. Underground Railroad is now in here. And then this is the President's Daughter series, which I really, really enjoyed. Underrated young adult, in my opinion. So that is basically this drawer. And obviously, as you can see, there's plenty of room to grow. And I still have two more drawers that I could potentially put books in. And then up here is where I put my unread books. I will leave a link to the what's left on my TBR video that I did, so I won't go through all of these, but I literally just stack all of these. And I leave them out like this so that way they're always like in my face and I'm always looking at them so that way I remember to read these books because if I put them away like on a shelf or if I put them like in one of these drawers, I will completely forget about them and never read them. So sitting out like this is a good reminder of the books that I need to read. And also it's a good way to sort of keep my TBR low because if the piles get too high or if I get too many piles or like this, it's getting really full. I'm just like, okay, I need to read some of these books so I can put them away. So yeah, that is my really quick bookshelf tour. If you have any questions, like I said, about any of the books that I mentioned or my organizational system, which again, like I said, is not a real organizational system or anything like that, definitely leave a comment down below. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.